lay out the collar tie for a 1012, we need a 1012 seat cut. And how we do that is you um, line up the 12 on this side towards the end of the beam and the 10 on this side. That'll give you your longer or your yeah your longer angle. Mark that angle with your pencil and then and then cut it with a uh, timber saw. Lay out your timbers on a level plane supported by planks or timber jacks. Once you get one truss built, you can use it as a jig to lay out the rest of your timbers. Lay out and uh, measure your beams according to the plans and mark them accordingly and then uh, Attach those with rigid structural screws provided in your hardware kit. Line the screws up uh, in the direction that you want them to go, make, making sure that you allow ample thread depth penetration into the receiving timber, and then drive the screw all the way in until it's countersinked. Posts that are going to be attached to a tie beam or a collar tie can be toe screwed in place um, at approximately a 45 degree angle. Just make sure to lay out the screw, a screw, as a guide to follow as you drive your rigid structural screw in place. Use the same method to drive the rigid structural screws in place that attach the uh, rafter beams to the king post. These are 3 8 by 8 inch rigid structural screws and they do a very good job at... These screws are available on our website barngeek.com and in our hardware packages um, as well as the uh, T-plates and bolts that you need to assemble your timber structure. It's, it's, the, the beam is twisted. After you finish assembling your timber truss, it'll look something like this. Uh, if you like this video, please click the thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more, subscribe to our channel and there will be more videos coming shortly. Have a great day.